All right, so hopefully if you watched the last video, I've convinced you or you're at least more curious about what CIT93, JavaScript client-side scripting, is all about. Um, so this class, to Code More, Talk Less, is really going to be a flipped class environment, okay? So um, you'll have one day where you'll do the free code camp, right? So you could go ahead and get that set up and do it. You'll have that, they'll, and I'll have a breakdown of homework of how many items you need to do. But again, if you don't, you know, you it doesn't hurt ever to level up on your HTML and CSS. So this is something you could do now before the start of the semester, but I will tell you that this whole list of HTML and CSS items will need to be done by the second week of the semester. So go ahead and get it done now, start looking at it, right? So, and then the responsive design uh, using Bootstrap is something we'll come back around and talk about later. But also if you've taken Todd McLeod's uh, CIT 85, you know, you should, this should be also the other thing you'll have there is really an understanding of Flexbox for responsive design as well. Okay, so that's how, like, if, get, as we get into the course, and let me just show you, the course is not released yet, but as we get into it, you'll have a homework assignment before the start of each class. So it's Tuesday, Thursday, 310 to 450, or 3 o'clock to 450. And then what you'll have is you'll have a homework due before you come into class, and then you'll have classwork. And really what this classwork will be is it will be most likely a coding challenge based on what you've learned. So we're going to really see how well we translate these uh, resources into actually being able to do it. Okay, and this class is half homework and half classwork. That's the way it breaks down. Okay, so again, you can jump ahead, uh, get ready, and be in a great foot to get there. So the other thing is the weird parts I talked about that, you know, you can get it for a little less out there. Check it out, but still at $21, it is a bargain. The other resource that we're going to be using is going to be lynda.com, which if you know anything about Lynda, it's a really awesome professional web, um, not web, but a professional uh, development uh, training site. All kinds of skills and they're really well done. It's not free though, but you could get to the Fresno County Library. If you get a library card, you get a PIN number, you can get lynda.com for free. Right? Again, there's an amazing amount of resources out there that you have access to, to learn. And so what I'm doing is leveraging those, I'm leveraging those uh, things that are out there for you um, and using then the structure of a classroom to really, I hope, do the best of both things. Use great materials, give students that experience of actually doing it to really translate these skills in these uh, concepts and these technologies into skill. Okay, that's really the idea. So before you get there, so this is your week zero, right, before the semester starts, what you could do to level up. And, you know, if the other thing you'll really need to do it, because we'll do it week one, is that we're going to start using GitHub from the very beginning. So that's one of the accounts that you will need, right? So github.com. So Git is a version control. So in building software, we need to keep track of all the different versions. And if you've taken any of the classes in this web developer track, which is either my class 82 or Todd's class 85 or even Brian's class or even Dan's class, any of these classes use some kind of version control. So what you will need to do is from day one, have your account set up and have some experience with this, okay? So, and if you don't know anything about GitHub, get your lynda.com because there's a great series on GitHub in there. And then, or just use YouTube. So uh, here's the other thing, right? So because, let me go back to my slides, because we are going to use it from week one, the other thing is you'll have to figure out during that first week of the semester, really by the second day, if you're going to be doing coding on your own device and bringing it, totally cool, or whether you're going to be using the lab uh, computers, which are nice big iMacs, okay? So if you're going to be doing that, then you're going to bring in a USB, and I'm going to show you how to place your course repository, and in this case, we're going to use educational private repositories, which means only you and I will see the code that you write. And then at some point, you're going to want to publish code out on the general GitHub, but not right now, not while we're learning, in my opinion. So you're going to want to think about that and figure it out, but if you're going to code in class on the computers there, bring a USB and I'll have a couple of videos showing videos showing you how to actually do that 
and publish push your code out to GitHub. Okay, so we'll do that during the first week. So the other thing that always comes up around this stuff is web uh, the editor you're going to use. And you know, there's some great editors out there. I mean, uh, Tony Alisea in the JavaScript the weird parts will use brackets. Um, many people like Sublime. Some people like Atom, growing in popularity. I have used WebStorm from JetBrains, the same company that makes the Android Studio, and I find it to be a really productive, powerful tool. So I'm going to use that for all my coding examples. You don't have to, but know that if you want to, you can also get this for free by just going out and applying at their site. I did it on my edu, your .edu account, and you, you're fine getting a license for that. But again, I'm not going to tell you which editor you have to use. I'm just going to tell you which one I'm going to use. So going back to this, just to, you know, confirm and just have you get a feel for where we're at is that every day you'll have, or every week you'll have uh, two days of work together. So you have a homework that you have to do before you come to class. You have classwork that you have to do once you're there. And you Basically what this is, is generally a coding challenge or a concept challenge based on the information that we're covering. And right now it generally flows where we do free code camp on Tuesday and we do JavaScript the weird parts on Thursday. So what I've done is actually I've gone through and I will have this in more detail, but I got it pretty good now. Oh, that's not the one. That's actually where we complete uh, the rest of the HTML and CSS. But starting here in week two, I give you a spreadsheet sheet that really is the um, breakdown of really how I've said here's how we're going to flow as far as this material and again I have a little more work to do on this but in general that's where we're heading okay so I really want to uh, hopefully encourage you still to you know think about um, if you if you're watching this video and you still haven't made the yes I'm gonna take it you know I've really talked to a lot of great people and one shout out I like to give is to Rick Gomez down at Bitwise because he really uh, helped me by looking at the material and helping me tweak it giving me feedback so that um, it is even better because of some of the feedback I got and he and he, and really just a lot I've talked to like I said a lot of people and really with the goal of making a really good class because it's such an important topic right now. So Rio Waller at Gmail if you have any questions before the start of the semester. If you know anyone that you think would benefit from taking this class, please help me spread the word. All right, talk to you soon. Bye.